Hello everyone, uh, this is Septimius SK and once again I'm coming back with uh, reviews of one of the mobile phones I got from fastcartech.com. This one's named Jiatong G2 Evo GT. A lot of G's there. Anyways, this is the beautiful box that it comes with. It's really actually one of the nicer ones. Uh, comes with the uh, uh, screen guard. Here's the device itself. I'll get back to it in, in a second. Nicely packed. Uh, cover, plastic, really nice and thick. Uh, headphones, and really nice ones. USB charger, the wall charger, the USB wall charger. Uh, extra clip for the headphones and an extra battery. Thank God there is no more uh, paperwork. <sighs> okay, so here's the device itself, which is really nice. Um, I have been actually looking at the, uh, some of the second generation of the new devices that are coming out of China and these are really well put together. A nice combination of metal and a hardened plastic. This is actually one of the nicer rendition of the second generation clones. This particular one is based on the other Taiwanese brand if you will. Evo GT kind of uh, gives out uh, the name as in what is it based on. Uh, very nicely put together Android device with surprisingly bright and very uh, responsive screen. Let me just start it up. Materials are mostly plastic, however, very good quality, like I mentioned. And uh, this round is actually a metal. Uh, this comes in four different colors, which are actually you can see them on, on the website of Fast Cortec. I will send a link or uh, put a link on the bottom of my. Uh, review video. They're white, black, purple and gray. This would actually be a good one for my uh, wife uh, color. Anyways, the operating system currently is, uh, this particular one has a 236 but uh, the current ones are the newer ones that uh, Fast Cartagon is putting out are with Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0 it does have a, a four inch uh, capacitive multi touch screen like i said it says 480 by 800 but it is extremely bright as you can see very very bright and very responsive the cpu it is mtk 6575 which is generally one gigahertz and uh, uh rom and the RAM, both 256, yeah, not the highest one, but then again, with today's prices of SD cards, it's not, not relevant. Uh, 256 megabytes uh, give you enough a place to install or enough space to install a couple of the uh, softwares and rest of it. You can just send straight to the four or six or eight, I'm sorry, four, eight uh, gig uh, SD card or the bigger ones. Nowadays, 16 gigabyte card here in the US costs about $25, so it's, it's not non issue. Anyways, it does have an Android Market pre installed. Uh, so there is no hassle with the uh, additional installation of Amazon Market or going through hassle of root, rooting phone and so on and so forth. It does support Wi-Fi, BNG, which is really good. It has dual cameras. There is a 5 mag on the back with dual flash, by the way, which I tested, which is really cool. Works really well as a uh, flashlight. And there is a small front-facing camera uh, up here that's uh, uh, supposedly 0 0.3, well, whatever very low resolution front facing camera good enough for the small pictures uh, as far as when you're talking to somebody did test it with the skype works very well so uh does have a g sensor as you see to kind of turns around right the accelerometer and so on it does have an onboard gps uh, chip and it supports a gps plus uh, outside devices through the bluetooth which also has uh does have a support for fm radio and a bunch of languages like 13 or so they'll they'll be listed on the website you can look at them uh, later on so uh, as to the device simple uh, design no change actually from the actual device uh plus minus rocker right for the volume on the top you have the three and a half millimeter jack and a, uh, that's power and standby button right standby as in uh, power and standby button sorry uh, there is a proximity sensor right here and the front facing camera right there uh, there's a dedicated camera button which is really nice 
so basically this phone looks like a digital camera from <laughs> from the, the back uh, on the bottom there is nothing except uh, the micro USB charge and also this uh, re recessed part is basically helps you open the back like so it does feel like it's gonna snap but it's not gonna trust me it's really strong plastic and here it reveals a 1800 milliampere battery uh, the space for a SD card and uh, two SIM slots. Now finally they listened uh, with the design and they didn't put this metal ring closer to the camera where it kind of uh, when you flashed it it showed on the pictures and it, uh, it did it really messed up the pictures so it's a uh, nicely designed a uh, new ring which will not reflect on the pictures and like I said there's a dual LED flash and that's pretty much it as far as the design is concerned. Uh, I'm sure you have seen uh, some of the videos put out by other reviewers as far as what it does and whatnot. Uh, rendition with the video games or something like that. It's it's fast enough. Of course uh, there, there are faster devices but then again the price on this one it's ridiculous like $170 or something like that. Fastcartic offers, <coughs> Fastcartic offers uh, free shipping to a lot of countries nowadays so that's another plus. And uh, I got a bunch of games I can show you, if at least the sprinkle uh, would be one of those. As to show you the animation itself, which is really uh, seamless. That means the processor, whether it's a GPU or CPU, works really nicely on this phone. Okay, so I don't know. Let's just put the volume up a little bit. And there we go. As you can see, it works nice and uh, seamlessly. There is no back lag. Okay, I'm not that good at this thing. <laughs> well, it's not the point. Uh, it just shows that the, the quality of rendition is good on this one. Okay, that's enough. And uh, I did have a video somewhere, which I can also show real quick uh, hmm, if I can come to the right video alright I do not have that here let me see one second here and that should be on the SD card under the videos video this is a trailer to one of the movies start over Oh, this is for the Why didn't I move here? GTA game. I guess it was the weather. Or the Again, video rendered nicely and clean. So GPU and CPU works really well. Okay, so that'd be all. In case you have any questions, leave it under the phone, uh, under the video review, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. <clears throat> and please, uh, no more hate mails, as in they they lost my phone and whatnot. You know who you are. There is uh, so few incidents, and I know where they're coming from. And in U.S. state of Florida, there's apparently a lot of cheaters, so you will be dealt with. Uh, there's apparently uh, some issue with the ordering and people scamming. <clears throat> Other than that, I have a lot of uh, good responses from the guys from Cal California, from Washington State, and uh, <laughs> peace out to Johnny in Arizona. Thanks for your uh, reviews. Uh, you guys have fun and this is a really good really nice phone really well priced and check out their other products like tablets and whatnot thank you